yesterday again with with Dan Herbert on what was probably a about a 25 minute half hour uh, Zoom call that you and I were both on. Um, he was asked point blank is, you know, a rugby Australia trying to, well, investigating a way of getting out of that contract. There's murmurings out there and uh, the NRL world, as there always are, uh, the rumor mill is as good as anywhere on the planet that um, Suwili may want out of the deal. Um, the Roosters have negotiated a bit of cap space in, in recent times, but they've, I think Angus Crichton may now be poised to sell as well. So anyway, that's beside the point. But um, potentially if that was the case. Now, uh, Daniel Herbert said, no, we're, we're not looking at that at the moment. Um, I guess if the situation was to change, that Joseph came to them and said, look, I don't want to come. Rugby Australia may well be inclined to say, okay, yep, if you don't particularly want to come any more than we're not perhaps as desperate as to have you. Um as opposed to earlier in the year when we did potentially have private equity money coming in, a better Wallabies World Cup results and less few other dramas across the game that have been whipped up by alignment slash centralisation. Um, I don't think it will happen, but at the same time, it wouldn't surprise if if this deal doesn't come off next year. All right, absolutely wouldn't surprise me if if Joseph Swell is not in the game from from the end of next year. There's... You know, he it is, and it has been reported, and it is right that his deal is upwards towards that one point six million dollar mark. But my understanding is a lot of that, and and perhaps even as much as half, is through uh, the Rugby Foundation. Foundation, yep. And, and we've seen that with David Pocock and Israel Folau in the past that that some of the really high contract earners, and probably Michael Hooper previously as well, that. That, that their salaries do get made up from foundation money, which is private people putting money together, raising money and to, to ensure that, you know, some of the best talent remains in the game. Now, uh, Rugby Australia, the Rugby Australia Foundation would be involved in that. I think the New South Wales Foundation would be involved in that. That money still probably has to be raised. So uh, whether or not that has been, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, it would not surprise me if he's not involved with the game. I think the question is, is he going to actually add value to the game? And I think he I think he would. He's a good player. He's a very good player, probably can play across multiple positions, and he's got a a foundation in the game, having been a Australian schoolboy where he played alongside. And a, and a recent rugby player, not yeah, the case of Roger Tuivasa Sheck that was 10 years, and we saw the difficulty that he had um, and has now gone back to the Warriors, of course. Yeah, and, and even Roger had moments where he looks and he did play for the All Blacks. It's just the All Blacks are a very, very good team. I think Roger Tuivas Sheik probably would have featured much more prominently in an Australian system. But that's beside the point. Uh, Suwali, I think, can still have a significant significant impact. Was Israel Falau an out and out star in Australian rugby? Yes. He won three John Eels medals during about a six year period in the game. So we can't deny that rugby league players can succeed in rugby union. Uh, going into uh, perhaps a, a new deal, maybe with Nine Stan, maybe with someone else, is he going to get more people watching the game? I think he would. Uh, do, do Australia need an outstanding fullback? Uh, yes, they do. Have they got one? Perhaps. But I think he would add value to the game. And, and if he can play a part in the Wallabies winning a Bledisloe Cup, pay him however much you want. Because that's what a show needs is some superstars in the game. Do they have them at the moment? Probably not. There's a few very good players, but none of them have really been able to make that huge leap.